Hi, I'm about to spoil your story worse than a Kardashian. Might want to get the fuck up out of here if you don't want spoilers. Okay, let's not waste too much time. So, there's a boss, which is in a trailer, kinda, I think, themed after Darth Vader. This guy seems to run a big corporation called Big Bang Burger. Again, don't speak or read Japanese. For some reason, it's in English, even though it's a Japanese company. I learned to stop asking about weird when it comes from that land. Anyways. Now, from what I can guess, not only is he one of your bosses and villains, because I whooped his ass in a very, very fun manner, but also because he seems to be of some relation to one of the playable characters in the game. Now, that playable character is... Well, not the French girl, but obviously she's got some French undertones and shit around her. Now, I'm sure you've all seen the trailer, but later on in the game, you're going to come across a character by the name of Futaba Sakura. Or at least I think that's her name. It's either Futaba Sakura or Haru Okumura. No, I'm not sure I'm saying these names right, but I believe it's Haru Okumura or Okumura. She seems to be the daughter of a man who runs a big corporation by the name of Big Bang Burger. Now the thing about Big Bang Burger is that that's one of those dimensional demon puzzle strategy places you have to go through. Also, he's obviously a boss. He was the same person who's in that Darth Vader-esque outfit that you see from the trailer. Now obviously I whooped his motherfucking ass, otherwise I wouldn't be here to tell you this. But going through that dungeon, there were some things I noticed that seemed unusual or eerily similar to some real world events, which is kind of what brought this video about. What I noticed going through that dungeon though, was that a lot of my enemies were literally worker drones, if not all of them, and their job was to basically maintain the company, make the food, and whatnot. But here's the thing, these robots, which seemed like they were an allegory for people who are having stressful work situations, or are literally being worked to death, would die off. So I'm assuming just as a player or as a human, oh they're just gonna put some new parts in it, or they're gonna give it a battery and it's gonna be good to go. Nope! That was a big ass vat that they dumped that machine into and it basically looked like from what I could tell it melted or it got consumed by a special sauce seriously there's like a lot of references to stuff in here you got to play the game and it seemed like the robots were being conformed and converted once they died into the burgers for Big Bang Burgers now obviously this is a bit of a demon dimension type dream sequence thing you guys know how persona dungeons are so I couldn't figure out for the life of me what I was actually seeing but then over time, I started thinking about it and I started noticing something. Are they trying to make this dungeon reference mad cow disease or the corporations that got away with that shit? Well, I guess getting away with is a bit of a relative term. Anyways, not to get too off topic. I started noticing that uh, in the 90s as a kid, you know, a lot of people were trying to tell me or tell my parents, hey, you know, for X amount of time, make sure he doesn't go to McDonald's, Burger King, any place like that, blah, 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 blah. And over time, just man of my own business, I accidentally overheard and watched a mad cow disease report. Now, the short end of it, for those of you who didn't experience it and be thankful, gave me quite a few nightmares, was that some idiot at a corporation got the bright idea to feed dead cows ground up to living cows, which basically made the cows get a brand new disease that they didn't have before because cows aren't known for being cannibals and also put small holes in their brains and they had an inability to function properly and somehow this transferred over to humans when we would eat said cows. Now, the thing about it is, throughout this dungeon, there would be worker drones or like working robots whose job it was to monitor everything you could think of. Uh, of course, again, it's in Japanese so I don't really know what the hell they're monitoring but I would notice that some of them would power down or they would become, you know, messed up. So I assumed that when I saw these other robots picking them up and stuff, that it would be a situation where, oh, they're just gonna take them to get repaired or slap in a new battery, call it a day. Nope. That would be humane. Of course, we're talking to my robots, so I see the irony in that statement. But basically, there would be some giant pool or vat that looked like some type of special sauce or a giant ground up meat bin. And they would throw the robots in there once they stopped moving. And then it would instantly, when I got down later into the dungeon, I would instantly see little conveyor belts and stuff that were supposed to be showing off new products or other things. So I started thinking to myself, wait a minute, did they just turn these robots into meat patties? Also, 
what the hell is this supposed to be showing me in the real world sense? Because when you go into a persona dungeon, it's kind of sort of mental or another dimension, but you're still overlaid into your real dimension. I know that doesn't make a lot of sense, but hell, you guys play the shit more than me, so y'all can probably explain it to me better. Anyways, I noticed that, and I was just thinking to myself, what is that supposed to reference or symbolize? Because a lot of the other dungeons I've been to symbolize, or they had a boss who had a problem that was eerily similar to a seven deadly sin in some way, shape, or form. So, I don't think there's a cannibalism or self-sacrifice or suicide-based one, but this one, or this particular dungeon, seems to me like it's trying to talk about the stress or the problems with working or overworking staff to death to build up someone else's fat ass wallet as well as taking a pop shot or using the incident of the mad cow disease scare in the 90s as a base now that's some cool shit but i'm not too sure maybe you guys can tell me in the comments i don't want to get into too much spoiler or spoiler related territory but for those of you sticking around uh enjoy the footage that's my own personal gameplay footage yes i can actually still record the game without having to worry about dmc takedown bs and in fact I might even do a live stream playthrough of where I am so far. I got about 100 hours in the game, so it's up to y'all. But yeah, that's pretty much all I wanted to say. Let me know what you guys think, because literally I don't know how Persona fucking works. <laughs>